In today's podcast, I'll be looking at the ballad The Banks of Green Willow, which is also known as Bonnie Annie, a tale of seduction, a sea trip, and supernatural intervention. We'll look at its known printing history and visit some of the tunes associated with the ballad. Oh, it's of a sea captain, lived near the seaside, oh. He's courted a lady, till she proved with child, oh. Go fetch some of your father's gold, and some of your mother's money. But you shall sail the ocean, along with your Johnny. She had not been a sailing, scarce six weeks, not so many, before she wanted women's help, but could not get any. The tune and words were collected by the Hammond Brothers in 1906 from Henry Way of Dorset. The earliest sets of words tell us that Bonnie Annie, whose parents are wealthy, has a lover who gets her pregnant and encourages her to rob her parents and run away with him to Ireland. When the ship is out at sea, it refuses to steer. The sailors think there's a criminal on board, and lots are cast to find the guilty person. The lot falls on Annie. She feels guilty about robbing her family, and accepts that she is to blame for the ship's behaviour. In most of the later versions of this ballad, it is the imminent childbirth that creates the problems. She calls out for a woman's hand to help her with the birth. Her lover volunteers to help but is dismissed, and the lady asks to be thrown overboard. The lover makes a coffin to house her body, sometimes with the help of the ship's crew. This very popular song has a somewhat vague history, with little indication as to its origin. The earliest collection in which the ballad appears is George Kinloch's Ancient Scottish Ballads of 1827, under the title of Bonnie Annie. The tune was not collected. I've not been able to find any broadside versions of the song under any name variation. There is no discernible record of the tunes for the ballad as it was sung in the 18th century. The emphasis of the collectors at that time was based on the ballad words, which were seen as pure rural poetry, and the singing aspect of the ballad was ignored. The rise of the folk song collector of the late 19th and early 20th century brought to light the plentiful examples of the old songs and ballads, both words and tunes. In the early 1900s, the song collector Gavin Gregg was sent a tune linking into the early Bonnie Annie version. The song was collected in Glasgow from Mr James Matthew Brown, who said that he had learnt the tune from an English source, possibly near Nantwich. He only remembered two verses. There was a rich merchant who lived in Strathdyna, and he had a daughter whose name was called Annie. And hey, she sang Johnny, oh, she sang Johnny, will ye gang and leave me alone here to mourn? There was a rich merchant who came from Dumbarton, and he's got this bonny lass, big, big with Ben. And hey, she sang Johnny, oh, she sang Johnny, will ye gang and leave me? Alone here to mourn. This fragment has been reworked by dropping the chorus and slowing down the melody. This changes the mood and narrative of the song. Here's a slow version. I've added words from the version of Bonnie Annie collected by George Kinlock. The ship had not been sailing so many a mile o when she was delivered of a beautiful child o. She had not been sailing so many a mile o. The ship was full rigged, but could not move onward. There's fay folk in our ship, she will not sail onward. There's fay folk in our ship, she will not sail onward. Apparently, in the mid 1800s, the song was sung in the music halls and a comic version was sung under the title The Watery Grave. I haven't managed to track down any supporting evidence of this, but it may account for the more upbeat tunes for the Banks of Green Willow that were later collected by the 20th century collectors. The ballad was collected in Devon by Sabine Bearing Gold during the 1880s. He had one full set of words and three tunes. 
The three tunes are very different from each other. His title for the ballad was The Undutiful Daughter. They got a white napkin about her head bound it. They got a white napkin about her feet wound it. They then cast her overboard, the baby and she o, together to sink in the cruel salt sea o. O sea boys, O see how she floats on the water. O sea boys, O see the undutiful daughter. That tune for the undutiful daughter was collected in 1893 by Sabine Bearing Gold from Mr. Sam Fawn, a stonemason who lived in Mary Tavy in Devon. There are a number of themes that have been suggested in relation to this song, one being the seagoing superstitions that women are unlucky when on board a ship, although this probably started in the fact that a woman at sea with a ship's crew for several weeks at a time can lead to jealousies, desire and foolishness. The casting of lots and the lot falling on Annie links into this. The superstition that ships are sensitive to crime against gods and men. The ship refuses to move until the culprit is found. This is also a factor in the ballad The Cruel Ship's Carpenter. It is likely that the original ballad had a more rounded storyline, and the nearest we have is Kinloch's version of Bonnie Annie. The song had evolved into the better known Banks of Green Willow. It followed the basic framework of Bonnie Annie, but is less detailed. Its words had reduced down to a very basic storyline, and the name of the poor girl is lost. In some versions they try to return to land, but the ship won't respond. In others she's thrown overboard, her body is washed up on the banks of Green Willow. As the collecting process increased under the enthusiasm of the Folk Song Society, a large number of examples of the song The Banks of Green Willow were found throughout the southern England. George Butterworth was so taken with two tunes of the Banks of Green Willow he collected in Sussex that he wrote an orchestral piece based on those tunes, together with the tune for the Green Bushes. Cecil Sharp and other folk song collectors took down a large sample of this fairly simple tune, and it's worth studying the way in which the tune can be found in numerous variations. If you go to the EFDSS Full English site, there are plenty of examples of the song in original manuscript form. We can speculate on the literary parallels that might have influenced the early form of the ballad, but in the end we have a good singable song with some good tunes, but very little historic background. We have to be somewhat content with that. So to end today's podcast, here's the excellent Nick Dow playing a version of The Banks of Green Willow. Well, it's off the sea, Captain, living by the seaside of courted a pretty maid he got her with child oh go get some of your father's gold some of your mother's money you come on board all along with your johnny she got some of her father's gold some of her mother's money she came on board along with her johnny Not been a sailing six months nor so many before she wanted women's help but could not get any. They had not been a sailing six months nor so many before she was delivered of a beautiful baby. Tie a napkin round my head, go tie it soft and easy Throw me right overboard, me and my baby They tied a napkin round her head, tied it soft and easy Threw her right overboard, both she and her baby See how me love do taper, see how me love do tumble See how she's a-rolling 
in the salt water. Bring me a long boat to row my love back again, to row my love back, both she and her baby. My love shall have a coffin, and the coffin shall shine yellow. She will be buried on the banks of green willow. Toll the bells mournfully for my dear Polly. She was buried for the sake of her money.